Hello, welcome to back to my wine channel. This is the Trophy Wine Hunter and I'm really excited today to bring you a uh, review and some of my notes on a quite a controversial um, champagne. It's Armand de Brignac, Ace of Spades. So for the packaging of Ace of Spades, it comes in this sleeve, um, this vinyl sleeve, and then this is the box. So with the box, you'll see the pewter on top of the Ace of Spades. Um, then you'll go inside, you have this pewter labeling, both on the bottle. And then if you turn this around a bit, on the back of the bottle, some more pewter labeling. It's a beautiful bottle. And if you notice, um, this is a bottle, this is a packaging that I had um, from another bottle I bought a couple, I think a year or two ago. But um, what I notice now is that in the past, they gave you this booklet, which is no longer put into the um, packaging. And this tells you a little bit about the winery itself, uh, give you some information, kind of just a nice touch that I don't see in the new bottles. But supposedly this must be handmade, so there there is some distinction between each individual bottles. Um, again, I try not to touch it too much. Look at this has been well handled. This is a little bit more cleaner, but they do really, it's a beautiful packaging. Let's talk a little bit about the history of this winery. And you'll see that I might have changed a little bit and I'm holding this, um, the, the bottle a little bit weirdly. I just realized that this bottle is really shiny and this lacquer box is really shiny so it reflects everything. So sorry, I had to redo the whole video because you can see all the mess behind the camera here. So I've had to redo it. So anyways, let's go to the history of this, um, this winery which is kind of very interesting. So in 2006, uh, sorry, in the early 2000s, a lot of rappers were drinking Cristal Champagne. So sorry, it's gonna be a long story, but um, it gets to the whole history of it, which is quite intriguing. Um, and rappers those days were drinking Cristal. They loved the bottle. If you know Cristal's bottle, it's clear with the yellow wrapping. It's a sign of luxury. Um, a lot of them were using it. And it's just popular in songs. And so there was an interview in 2006 with the, the CEO of Cristal and he was asked, hey, what do you think about all these rappers drinking Cristal and using it in their videos? And he should have just, you know, just been good about it and said, you know, I love this. I'm so proud, that's so great, so wonderful. Being French, I guess he was just, just thought he was being cute or, you know, funny or charming or whatever. So what he said was he said, well, what can we do? Like, uh, we can't forbid people from buying it. And I'm sure Dom and crew would love, would be love to have their business. And that was not good, right? And Jay-Z, actually a rapper, famous rapper, married to Beyonce now, um, took that as a slight. And, and, and he got a lot of the rappers that are friends. They're saying, come on, like, you know, we use your champagne, we probably helped you promote it. And why would you say that? Like, that's so stupid, right? So he went right after that and bought a 50% interest in a, in a champagne called Armin de Brignac or Ace of Spades. So let's go back to the history of this. Who, who owned Armin de Brignac, Ace of Spades before Jay-Z? Well, it was originally owned by Maison Cartier and Maison Cartier actually does produce champagne to this day. They, they have their own champagne house. Um, it's now run by Jean-Jacques Cartier and his son, Alexandre, who help out with Ace of Spades still. They are 12th and 13th generation wine growers. So Maison Cartier started producing champagne in 1916. Uh, so, and then the father of Jean-Jacques married Nelly and they had three children, one of them was Jean-Jacques. And so it, they were producing champagne all along. And in, in and about 2000, they started producing a special cuvee called Antique Gold, which looked a lot 
like Armand de Brignac, okay? Not the same champagne, obviously, but looked a lot conceptually. Somehow, um, in in and around when Jay Z bought the uh, bought his interest, that wine was turned into Armand de Brignac or Ace of Spades. And so the story goes that um, Jean Jacques' mom, Nelly, read some novel in the 1950s, which had a character called the Brignac. Thought it was really cute. Thought it was a great name. Supposedly trademarked that name and then held it all the way till about 2000 when they wanted to rename the Champagne Antique Gold something a little bit better. So they wanted to name it de Brignac. Having said that, there is a region in France called Brignac. And so the powers to be said, well, listen, you can't do that because, you know, you're going to confuse everyone because they're all going to think the champagne comes from Brignac, which it doesn't just come from there. It comes from various plots within Champagne region. So somehow the name Armand was added to that. Now, did Jay-Z have something to do with all this kind of hype? Uh, who knows, right? So I'm just giving you the facts. He bought it in 2006. This Armand de Brenner came out. Um, it is in no way the same as Antique Gold. Antique Gold was a cuvee, but now with Jay-Z's injection of money and also, um, you know, they've also, of course, they've in, in improved it quite a bit. So I'm not suggesting that it was, it is the same champagne that they're, you know, they're producing previously and now they're just upselling. No, I'm not, I'm not suggesting that at all. Um, the spade on this uh, bottle is uh, representative of the French monarchy, and it just gives a very nice uh, look to the bottle. Okay, so Jay Z bought the rest of um, his the interest from the Cat Chase in 2014, so he owned 100% of uh, Armand de Brignac, and then just recently uh, he sold 50% back to LVMH, which is Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy. So my guess is going to be that um, slowly the Cartier family, who has no interest in it anymore, is going to be kind of faded out and there's going to be more, uh, I guess, control or, or more direction taken from the Moet Hennessy people, who obviously have great winemakers themselves. Um, and I think with Moet Hennessy's involvement, I think the quality of the champagne will go up. Probably the price will go up. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, I, I think it's going to be even better with their uh, involvement. Let's talk a little bit about the champagne itself. So it is a blend normally of three vintages. I don't know exactly which three vintages are in the, this blend right now, but I think it's 2009, 10, 12, something like that, okay? It's 40% Pinot Noir, 40% Chardonnay, and 20% Pinot Meunier. So if you look at Cristal, Cristal's blend is about 40% Chardonnay, 60% Pinot Noir, so very close. What distinguishes Ace of Spades um, is that they, their dosage, uh, which is the little bit of um, sweetness and alcohol, um, s sugar and alcohol that's added at the end to give um, some sweetness to the champagne, that is aged in oak for nine months. So it's a little bit more special, I guess, their dosage than others. They also mature their wines in their underground cellars. Everything about Ace of Spades supposedly is handmade. They only produce 60,000 bottles a year of Ace of Spades. So um, that's not a lot for Champagne House. I think that will actually increase as you see uh, LVMH involvement uh, in, the sh in, the, in the winery. As I've kind of said in previous videos, what I'm hearing is that the, with the current, with uh, future releases of this, you won't get this lacquered box um, that's what I'm being told for the new um, Ace of Spades that's coming out this year, but it could be just a, a regional thing, it could be just a temporary thing, I'm not sure exactly, but I don't have any um, proof of that, okay? So, um, supposedly 18 people are involved in making of this. Um, the, there's pewter on the bottle, um, and all this pewter is put on 
individually so every bottle is distinct a little bit different um, and supposedly because of the craftsmanship you need about uh, 20 only 20 bottles can be produced per hour um, they also produce a Blanc de Blanc in a white bottle they produce a special green bottle for uh, for the masters they produce a rosé bottle um, and they produce a couple other high-end bottles all of them are magnificent in terms of the look. As you can see, I don't have a bottle of, or a glass of Ace of Spades in front of me to do a tasting. Uh, and there's a reason for that. To me, Ace of Spades is a wine that you drink um, as a celebration wine with a lot of friends at a party level. Uh, and you see, I'm just trying to hold this the right way so I don't get the, uh, it's really shiny, okay, the, the, the bottle. but. Um, yeah, I, it's a celebratory wine. It's a wine that you drink with a ton of people. I really don't think it's a wine that you drink by yourself, quite frankly. And um, if you really have to drink a wine, uh, Ace of Spades, by yourself at home, that's pretty sad to me. Sorry. Uh, but I have drank it a lot of times. And um, it's the taste of it is very similar to Cristal. Um, and I can see why Jay-Z would choose this champagne house. It is a peaches and cream type of style of wine. It's very creamy. It is on the sweeter side, but it's got a little bit more weight. Um, uh, so it's got some substance to it. And a lot of people will say, well, it's, it's priced at the BC liquor stores at $3.59 a bottle. And people are going, well, it's a non-vintage. How could it be that much? There's a couple of reasons. One, it's not really a non-vintage champagne. It's actually a blend of three different vintages of vintage champagne. So, and there's other so-called non-vintage champions there that are uh, just as expensive, like Krug is like this, and Krug is a spectacular bottle. Um, the second thing is the packaging is, is very nice, and so it, it is exceptional. Um, and really, every time I serve it to people, everyone's thrilled at drinking it. It's the bottle, you know, the, the, the lacquer uh, box, it's an occasion. It's a. It's really a nice wine to bring out and and show people, and and they really enjoy drinking it. It's a. It's a. I, they have. They're thrilled to drink it. Um, in terms of taste, I still prefer Cristal to to Ace of Spades, but very close. Um, but I, actually, I like. I would rather drink this than Dom, quite frankly. I mean, that's my own preference because I like. A little bit sweeter side wines, um, not totally dry champagnes. So I really like it. I like the softness of this wine, and I like the creaminess of it. So and it's it's a little bit on the sweeter side. So I do enjoy this quite a bit. Um, and uh, hope you've enjoyed this uh, wine video. And uh, please keep watching. Until next time, happy drinking.